Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you. Nice to be back here for the second shave of this brand new year, 2021. Uh, how you all doing? I hope you're staying safe wherever you are, obeying the rules, wearing your mask, social distancing, washing your hands, everything like that. Uh, if I look a bit bleary eyed, it's because I've just stood in that shower behind me for about 20 minutes, just letting the water <laughs> run over me having a wash, getting my face ready, getting my beard ready for this shave. Um, yeah, it's very cold here today, icy. So uh, I just wanted to stand in a warm shower, just enjoy it. Oh, it's nice. Um, and I took a trip this morning uh, with Riley. Quite literally took a trip. Uh, black ice on the pavement. There we go. Scrape there, scrape there. My sides all uh, hurting at the moment. My hip is bruised. Yeah, black ice on the pavements. I was being really careful. I seen it, there was lots of it about. So I was really careful. Just as I was on the home straight of coming back home with uh, the dog, bang, like that, I slipped, fell. Uh, went down like a ton of bricks, right onto the pavement, uh, or the sidewalk as you guys call it in the States. Yeah, hurt myself. Kind of got up a bit winded, sort of. Uh, sucked the wind out of me, so. Looked about, luckily there was no one about. Uh, some guy at his window. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah, but it happens. Yeah, so um, if it's icy where you are, please be careful because you don't want to end up with a. But, I mean, that looks like a little, just a tiny little plaster. There's a couple of little scrapes there, but it's quite a big um, gash underneath that. It took the whole bit of skin off on my uh, knuckle there. So I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Thanks for your concern. Get on with a shave! <laughs> right, okay. Um, as you've seen from the title, I'm using some products from Portugal. Um, why not? It's a nice uh, sunny country, it's warm, it's nothing like here. Um, cold, damp, miserable, frosty, icy, blech, yucky. Right, uh, the brush I'm using, and I'm soaking it in the Sticky Duffy Pudden Super Soaker, first one of the year for that, is the Samog Bore Brush. This is the 620. Um, I think the last time I used this, I thought it was the 610 because it has a shorter loft. So let me show you the 610. This is the 610 here. And the only difference, it's a slightly higher loft on the 610, but can you see the little uh, shapes on the side of the handle there? They only start halfway up on this. Whereas on this one, they go right to the bottom. These little kind of flutes. Yeah, they go right to the bottom of the handle on that one. Whereas on the 610, they start, they only go kind of halfway. Uh, that's the only difference. So I'll just put that back in the water there. The razor I'm going to be using, I've not used this for quite a while. Fantastic razor from Portugal, uh, the Tatara Nodachi. Here it is here, stainless steel razor. Yeah, very, very nicely made. Beautiful. Some people don't like the handle. I like it. It's not slippy. Uh, it has good grips here. It's a three-piece razor. There's a little recessed bit that goes up and there there's the oh that's upside down is it yeah there's the uh, base cap oh that's upside down Kevy your, your world's upside down Kevy <laughs> no dachi comes apart like that and uh, yeah these T's stand for Tatara so a very nicely made razor from Portugal three um, friends came up with this design with this razor. Uh, there's one before this called the Tatara Masamuni and that's slightly milder. I think that has a negative uh, blade exposure. This one's slightly positive but uh, still very very smooth. One of the sm smoothest razors I've uh, used. The blade I'm going to be putting on that is the second use of the Gillette Platinum from the last shave. So here it's here. Plain wrapper so I've just written that on it. Gillette Platinum, one dot, so that means this is its second use. Let's just get that out of the wrapper into the razor and then I shall show you the soap. Yeah, there's the blade there. Now someone said these, these particular pack, this particular pack of Gillette Platinum, just the blue pack are called Gillette Swedes. Very, very good blade, uh, harder to come by. I think there's another Gillette Platinum pack that has uh, silver around here, it's colored in silver. I don't know. I think I've got some upstairs actually, but. So how is everyone? Good, I'm glad to hear it. Let me just put this blade on there. 
Yeah, I've not not used this uh, razor in quite a while, so I thought I'd give it a an outing today. Yeah, long thread on that. Very smooth threading, and there's the tiniest bit of overhang just at the side. I don't know if you'll be able to. Well, look at my hands; they've fallen. <laughs> yeah, there's the tiniest bit, not much. Okay, let me show you the soap now. I've not used this again, probably for about maybe a year and a half, something like that. I think I got this as a gift from Mrs. Kevy. Um, so I'm going to show you it like this. It comes in this box. There it is there. Pereiras shaving cream. It's not actually a cream. Pereira Chevere, Portugal. So it comes in this lovely box. The lid slides off like that. And inside, there's the soap. Let me just uh, take it out and show you guys. I love stuff like this. Well made stuff. People that have put a lot of love and care into, into stuff. Pereira Chevere. What does that say on it? Uh, Portugal since that date there in Roman numerals that I can't read. <laughs> yeah, so it comes like this. Kind of like a Mitchell's wheel fat, there's the, the lid there, the soap. It says shaving cream, but it's a charcoal lacquer. Uh, the lid comes off like that. There's the soap in there. This bit comes off and you have a little shaving scuttle, a little bit for your brush there. Very nice. Let me just put that back in the box. Move that out of the way so it doesn't get any water on it. Yeah, so here is the inside of the lid. There's the outside of the lid. And here is the inside of the lid with the ingredients. And you can take a look at that. Yeah, I love stuff like this. Lovely ceramic pot. And there's the soap in there. Black soap. It smells like Mitchell's wheel fat. Uh, very similar to that. Yeah, but, but very nice. Yeah, I'll put links for everything. I think I got this at the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee. Well, I think my wife bought it, uh, Mrs. Kevy, but I don't know if they're still stocking it. I'll have a look. If they are, uh, I'll put links for it. Right, let's uh, get this shave started. We've uh, chatted enough, asked how you're all doing, showed you my war wounds from my um, skid on the ice. <laughs> so let's uh, start lathering this up. Right, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water on top of the soap, just to kind of damp it, just that much. I'll take this brush, three flicks, and we'll just go straight into the soap. Yeah, a lot of people say um, about bore brushes, I don't like bore brushes, they eat the lather. And they do, sometimes they do, um, especially at the start when you're breaking them in. Uh, a bore brush, you need to, uh, well, just use it. Some people put it in cold water in the fridge for 16.3 days and then take it out and then use it and then put it in some more cold water that's two degrees warmer than the first batch and it <laughs> just use it just use if you've got a bore brush that needs breaking in just use it and it will break in uh, oh, the, the tips will separate and split and it'll get soft that's the way to do it and I always find with a bore brush because it eats the lather when it's new but just overload it, just overload it. As the stallion says, load it like you hate it. Right, that looks enough in that brush. Nice and pasty. As Nick Shaves used to say, nice and pasty in the brush. Right, so I'll wet the mug. So there's all this excess lather here in this uh, ceramic dish. So I'll just put that on the face. Yeah, when I came back from my walk with Riley, I was feeling a bit sorry for myself, a bit silly, but you can't, I can't be helped, you slip on ice. It's accident. So I just wanted to stand in the shower, I just stood in the shower. <sighs> Drowned my sorrows in hot water. <laughs> right, we'll rinse this out. Make it all nice again. If we need to go back to it, we will, but I don't think we will. There we go. So that's all cleaned out, so I'll just set that on the towel there. Right. Let's get going with this uh, Pereira Charcoal Activated Soap with the Samog 620. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, clean, fresh 
soapy scent, like Mitchell's wool fat, kind of similar vein. This might be actually a little bit stronger. A little bit of water in the brush now. Yeah, so it has a, a little bit of a, a grey tinge to it. But um, the thing with a bore brush, for me anyway, you never get the, the same kind of volume of lather that you do with a, a certainly a synthetic brush or a, a badger brush. But I like I like the feeling of a bore brush. It's a, it's a very traditional feeling. This one's soft. Yeah, when I think of traditional shaving and I think of this, like uh, using a bore brush, it just, uh, I don't know, just feels more traditional, you know. Right, that looks good. So there's plenty of lather left in that. Just place that down there, clean my hands. Good lather, happy with that. Put a little bit more down here. I do. Yeah, what do you think? Pretty good. Right, let's heat this. Tatara Nodachi with the Gillette Platinum. Yeah, I was very impressed with these blades. I used that in the last shave with the uh, the Rex uh, versus the Taiga. Right, here we go. That's just demolished that. So that is super smooth. Yeah, some people don't like the handle. It's honestly not slippy. That plaster's coming off. Hope you don't see what's under that by the end of the shave. <laughs> but just a light touch. That blade feels great actually. In this razor. Nice glide on the soap. Yeah, this is probably one of the smoothest razors I've used. Um, it really is smooth. What do you mean by smooth, Kevy? Well, it just feels, it's hard as you, as you start to progress in your wet shaving journey, you'll use more razors and different blades and stuff like that, and you'll get to know some razors can feel a little bit tuggy or harsh, but this one, other ones, especially this one, feels uh, super smooth. Or not, I think that's a little pimple. Right. Nice uh, slim profile for getting in under the nose, you know. Yeah, that's a little spot. Right, great first pass. Let me just uh, stick this plaster down a little bit. It's supposed to be waterproof, but it's crap. Ah, sorry, I'll take it off. There we go, look. Ah! Right, if that starts bleeding, I'll put another plaster on it. Right, first pass done. 
Super slick. Great stuff. Right, let me rinse I'll come back for pass number two. Nice residual slickness on that. Yeah, I can feel it. There's like a film on my face. Right, back to this brush. Yeah, see, it's not the massive thick lather that you get from a, a specially synthetic brush, but it's still enough to cover the the uh, skin to protect you. There we go. Put that on top again. Right, pass number two with the Tatara Nodachi. Yeah, this is a scratch. This is a scratch. <laughs> the madness has begun. Right, here we go, across the growth. It's not going up my nose, that's for sure. Yeah, just being uh, careful, there's a tiny little bit of uh, overhang on this razor, so. As they would say in Scotland, mind your lugs. Your ears. Yeah, this feels uh, really nice. That blade. Thank you for all the uh, comments in the last couple of videos. Uh, lots of you wishing you a happy, me, wishing me a happy new year. So happy new year back to you. I think I've answered most of them. Yeah, answered most of them, so um, I hope your new year was good. Or as good as it can be, given all that's going on. Did you make any uh, New Year's resolutions? Shaving wise. I'm not buying any more soap. I'm not, nope, I'm not buying any more soap. I'm not buying any more soap. Sale now on. Bye, 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 bye. Ah, what have I done? I've just bought more soap. <laughs> How many people have done that? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Uh, feels great, okay. Yeah, that soap feels uh, really good. Nice slickness on it. Right, back to this brush. thing up there look I've, uh, I think I've cut the top of that off which is a mistake <laughs> right so there's still some lather left in that for the pickups which is good right against the grain with a Tatara Nodachi I don't know why I said it like that let me just uh Get these squared up. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is a there's a little bit of blade feel in this razor, just because it has a positive exposure. Now that's some not come, some kind of like sexual reference for guys opening their jackets with nothing on underneath it. Positive exposure. <laughs> it just means that the uh, the blade sits out below the the top cap. Yeah, sounded like what I knew what I was talking about there, right? <laughs> Just a light touch. I'll get some uh, alum on that. Yeah, I've not done that for ages. It shows you how efficient this razor is, I didn't even feel it. How are your shaves going? Good? Good. Bad? Nah, never mind. Move on. You have a bad shave, just try and forget about it. Learn what you've uh, had a bad shave with. If it maybe it was the blade combination or maybe the soap wasn't slick enough, then just move on to the next shave and uh, try and forget about it and then try and remember that for the next time uh, what you used and stuff like that. Right, let's have a quick rinse. See what needs uh, picked up. Oh, I tell you what, I think that might be the closest shave, three passes I've ever had. There's a tiny little bit up here just because I'm being careful with this little thing, but we'll get that. And there's a tiniest bit there, and that's it. Right, let's uh, just get this bit here. And a tiny bit here. Yep, that's got it. Right. I was talking with a, a friend um, from the States, Ernie Rocha, Ernie, and he was saying that he'd, uh, he'd started using alum in every shave and his skin has never felt or looked better. So I'm going to start using alum. Good. Anything, I need anything to improve these looks, right? Come on, I mean, look at them. You know, so um, yeah, alum. Let's uh, use that. Maybe not in every shave, but we'll start off as we've been to go on. Right, no sting at all. A little bit on these dots down here. Nothing else on the neck. It will be on this little bit up here. Nothing on the moustache. Wow, that's a good shave. Yeah, very good. Right, that's the alum on. Do I look any better? No? 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 What about now? No? What about um, now? No? Okay. Alum. <laughs> 
Right, okay, I'm gonna let this sit on. There's a tiny little bit left in the brush. I'll squeeze that out, have a little face wash once this is rinsed off, and then I'll come back for the post shave. See you very soon. Great shave. Skin feels really good. Right, okay, on to the post shave. Now, I don't have anything Portuguese uh, in terms of aftershave splash or anything like that, so we're just gonna go across the border into Spain for some Floyd Black. Uh, I've had this bottle for a while. I think I've got another couple of bottles uh, in reserve. I bought, I love this stuff. It's, um, I think the last time I used it, I, I said I kind of had a barbershop type style vibe, but um, more of a kind of pineapple fruity, it's just nice. It's just a really nice scent. Uh, it doesn't have a restrictor, so I'm just gonna put my finger over the top there. Just let some drip out. Very nice, good splash of that. Shouldn't be too much thin because of the alums on there. Oh, what a scent. Get some in that cup. Woo! Ho oh, ho! Felt that. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good for you. What's good for you make you stronger or something. Beautiful, beautiful. And finish it off with some um, L'Oreal Men Expert Hydrosensitive Soothing Aftershave Balm, 0% alcohol with Burt Sap in this container. A little bit of orange down here. Bam. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a funny mood today. It's that much. Quick, that'll run down your arm, Kevy. Okay. This is great stuff. Yeah, really good. Not a strong scent on this, so you can still smell the Floyd. Yeah, look at that grease. Good one, right? I wonder if the guy stopped laughing yet at his window. Ah! <laughs> look at that guy, this is fun, taking his dog for a while. He slipped on the ice that we put out there last night. Remember we poured the water on the pavement? What? You. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, good fun. Good fun, good shave, good friends. What's not to like? Right, let me just uh, empty this out and I will show you what we've used in this wonderful shave. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, very nice. Uh, right, <clears throat> the brush. The Samoog 620. Here it's here, all cleaned out. And that was in the Sticky Duffy Pudding Super Soaker. Sticky Duffy Pudding, st 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 Sticky Duffy Pudding Super Soaker. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nicely all cleaned out. Nice little brush. Very good. I bought this brush because, well, both of these brushes actually, because my dad, uh, he used to shave with a boar brush. Well, he shaved with a razor, but he used a boar brush for the lather and he had a, uh, it was all, it was a blonde uh, tips. Well, knot. A blonde knot, just a blonde knot like that. That's what he used, so. That's, uh, that's why I got those brushes. Uh, the razor, star of the shave, I think. <clears throat> well, joint star of the shaves. Uh, the shaves? The shave. Uh, the Tatara Nodachi. Fantastic, excellent razor. Really, really good. Smooth as butter, smooth as butter. Three piece, non-adjustable. Inside that, uh, second use Gillette Platinum, or Gillette Swede, as they're known, I think. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, great razor, great razor, very smooth. Little bit of blade feel, not much. Um, if an R41's 9 out of 10 for blade feel, this would probably be about a 5 maybe, something like that. So not too bad, but um, yeah, very nicely made. From Portugal, again. Uh, Tatara Nodachi. Uh, the soap, again, from Portugal, Pereira Chevere. Uh, activated charcoal shaving soap. It says cream on there, but it's not. It's clearly not a cream. Look here, it's here, all cleaned out. Yeah, oh, lovely. It smells like, a little bit like uh, Mitchell's wool fat, but maybe a little bit stronger, actually. Same sort of scent, maybe a little bit stronger. Uh, there's all the ingredients on the back of that. Yeah, beautifully packaged. I love stuff like this. 
um, <clears throat> people that take pride in what they do, and it shows uh, in these products, but with the uh, you know the ceramic stuff and very nice. Uh, that was that. The brush, the soap, the razor, the blade. We did three passes. We did some pickups, and then we applied some alum. There's a couple of little dots here and this thing here, but the alum sorted it out. Did it make me look any better? Nah, probably not. I'll keep using it though. There's hope. There's hope for everyone yet. I maybe start having it for breakfast. Like alum hog. <laughs> See if it make me look better. <laughs> um. So that was the start of the post shave. The after shave was Floyd Black. Not Portuguese, just across the border in Spain. Very good stuff, beautiful, beautiful scent. And finished it off with L'Oreal Men Expert Burt Sap with Burt Sap. And there is the shave, ladies and gents, boys and girls, hamburgers and cheeseburgers, hot dogs and pretzels. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm in a good mood. I don't know why, I just am. I'm shaving, I'm with my friends, good stuff, good products. Uh, I'm in the bathroom. I've got the heating on. I've just came out of a 20 minute shower. I fell. Oh, what's not to like? Apart from the falling bit, of course. That will get better. Yeah, I'm not doing a one finger to you. That's my pinky. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Have yourselves some fantastic shaves. Uh, live life to the full as much as you can within your area and restrictions and whatever the hell else is going on. It's a crazy, crazy world we're living in at the moment, but um, a shave always makes you feel better, right? So I shall see you in the next shave. Uh, what will I be using? Who knows? I don't know. I've still got new stuff from last year that I've got to show. Uh, I've got to show you guys. I've not used it yet, so um, we'll get to it though. There's plenty of time, right? Yeah, plenty of time. Right, okay. I'll see you in the next shave. Take care of yourselves. Look after loved ones uh, and yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I never say that. Take care. That's better. <laughs>